Uh, Phil, uh, another good result there. Uh, difficult side. They're going to be up there again at the end of the season. Uh, a good performance all round by the players. Yeah, very much so. I think uh, there's a little tinge of disappointment, you know, after after going one 0 up. It's a good side at home. You think you've you've got enough tools to to see the game out, but Sutton a very physical side, very strong in the air, uh, and they proved that by scoring from a set piece. So um, it was tough, you know, but a good test for us and one which uh, another one which we passed. You know, excellent performance against against Ebbsfleet, um, and we proved this year that we can compete with with the better sides. So um, our own ambition, we have to keep raising week on week after good performances. Yeah, and it's good to, to play some full-time sides effectively with big squads. Uh, um, we've got a relatively small squad, but the lads competing uh, beyond the final whistle there. I think so. The way we train, the intensity we, we work at and the, the pressure we put the players on during the week uh, in training is starting to prove... Uh, prove its worth really and certainly the physical aspect against Ebbsfleet who are one of the full-time sides and to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them even better them was uh, was a great testament to our conditioning um, and again today it was it was a very tough game but the lads stood up to it and certainly the younger lads the likes of Ashley and Doris, um just seemed to get stronger and stronger as the game went on so so that's quite pleasing as well. And coming up to the Christmas period now we, we uh, rearranged game against Chelmsford next week. Uh, it, it's going to come thick and fast, really, for all our, all our players. Is, it, are we uh, good on the fitness front? And uh... <laughs> well, well, we certainly think they are. Um, yeah, as I said, we we work at an intensity which wouldn't be far off training three three days a week. Um, so we're quite confident we can cope. It's just you just never know with soft tissue injuries. Some of the lads, three or four lads, have taken knocks, dead legs cuts and scrapes and bruises which you'd expect in Conference South. It's, we'll assess that on Tuesday, uh, hopefully there's, there's nothing too bad and then we can we can look forward to going into Chelmsford even though they got a good result against Basingstoke. Uh, we feel that we've got the tools to get a result there. And you're looking at the table at the moment? There's a, after, is it, is it, yeah, <laughs> it's, there's, a, there's a couple of games in hand uh, uh, across, the, uh, across the rest of the clubs in the in the in divi division but there's uh, still a long way to go absolutely you know and we know certainly after last year what can happen uh, but we've learned from those mistakes and we brought the, the characters and the, the quality which when it does get tough we should be able to uh, to see see good results rather than going on on uh, runs of bad ones so uh, we're confident that we've got a, a, a competitive squad this season um, and anything better than last will be a positive. Good man. Thanks. Cheers.